Go. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you could just introduce yourself, um, your age, and maybe describe that painting behind you just to start off. <laughs> okay. So my name is Tanmay Shah. I am from India. I am around uh, 26 years old. And uh, this painting behind me is called Chaos to Clarity. It's a 76 by 76 uh, centimeter painting. So as you can see, there are four parts to this painting. I mm -hmm. tried, uh, <laughs> I started off with representing four sections of the mind or subconscious mind. And uh, mm -hmm. then I went in a full uh, subconscious mode. So I just started doing abstract right from my mind. So this this has come out as a representation of a, my, my mind in that uh, that period. This is from 2017. 2017. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's fabulous. I'd like to know what was going on in your mind at the time. <laughs> so there was, yes, there, was, there was no clarity of purpose or what, what I should be doing. I was soul searching. There was a lot of confusion on what, what is to be done. And uh, I was not having any grip on life. So I tried to do that. So there's a lot of, there are a lot of things that you can see here. Uh, many people look mm -hmm. at this and have, they have different representation of this. Some call it uh, anger and some burning in hell sort of things. And uh, mm -hmm. there is a explosion or sun on the top. And there are these bubbles or uh, cosmic bubbles, or uh, they can be represented as they want. Here is a, so there's a dragon face here on the top. People uh, mm -hmm. call it different things. And then in the bottom, it looks like this. That's fabulous. And what, what materials are you using on that? Sorry? Oil on canvas? What what materials are you using? It's acrylic. On acrylic. Okay. Acrylic is that what canvas. you normally right? Yeah. Canvas. Is that is that what you normally use? Yes, yes. Or do you make right? Um, I try different mediums, so, but when I'm doing mm -hmm. physical paintings, I, I use acrylic because it's very easy yeah. to dry and easy to manage and uh, things like that. So it's a very nice medium. It's fabulous. Um, is do you is art all you do, or do you know what's your background? So I have gra I have studied and uh, graduated in business, uh, marketing, and uh, commerce. So in India we call it Bachelor of Commerce. So yeah, that. And uh, currently, after a long time, I'm. I'm uh, currently I'm pursuing my master's in sociology. So this is what I'm, this is the educational thing. Apart from that, I have, uh, I'm working with my father in business. We have a family business. So uh, we are into different things. So I'm just, uh, so I have been with my father whenever help needed and things like that. But I, Art was always with me since I was very young and it was a great way to uh, relax and uh, it's a very meditative process. So <laughs> this- uh, I love it. And, yeah. Yeah, most of my best artworks have come out during uh, difficult times. <sighs> oh, that's interesting. Um, so, the typical tortured artist then. <laughs> um, now, is that one of the ones that you're going, you're minting for your NFT or, you know, if you could just tell me the ones that you're doing for your NFT. So I have a virtual gallery. Uh, I wanted to take you on a tour. Would you like to join? <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. So I've got two collections. Uh, one is my main collection called uh, Tanmay Shah uh, 28 and the other one is Utterly Stupid. So we'll, we'll talk about it on the way. 
So this is my website. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the our virtual gallery. Fabulous. So here are forty four um, artwork. Can I can I just get the spelling of your your surname? Is it I S H T A R? Of what? Your surname. It's S H A H. S H A H. Tan Shine. Can you see this here? Uh, here on the website. Yes, it's yeah, it's fabulous. Uh huh. Can you take me around a couple of your pieces? Yes. So let us go to the gallery. Okay, some couple of pieces are missing here. I'll uh, I'll do this on Chrome. So my digital 3D pieces are not showing up in this browser. So I will quickly switch to the different browser. Okay. So you you've learned to you learned all this technology as well then. So you're doing digital pieces? Yes. Um, and you created that gallery, which is I mean, I'm learning stuff myself, so I know how how difficult it is to get through um new technology. Um so that's fabulous. Um are any of your NFTs physical works? Or are they all digital? I have mixed uh, works. Some of them are physical, some of them are digital, some are 3D, some are animated. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's start from here. Mm -hmm. So these two pieces are abstract pieces. Uh, the left one is called uh, Redness and the right one is called blueness. Bloomers. Yeah, blue, yeah blueness. <laughs> so they're sisters. Oh, redness and blueness. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Redness, blueness, right. Redness and blueness. Are you hoping that um, a collector will buy both of them? Sorry? Would you like to see? both of them would you like to see both of them go to the the same collector uh it's it's a, it depends on the collector but it would be nice if one person has both of these <laughs> i yeah. have because it'd be like have, splitting up the family yes i have even bundled them so if somebody wants them uh, to get both of them together they can go to the open sea and purchase both of them in, in a single transaction so it's available in a bundle. Right, excellent. Um, um, so are, is this on Ethereum? Yes, these two ones are on Ethereum. Mm -hmm. But most of my collection work is in Polygon. I didn't want uh, collectors to pay a lot of gas. So I've, I'm uh, very confident with Polygon network. <laughs> right, excellent. Um, so I was just taking notes at the same time. Um, oh, I like that. That's fabulous. What, what, what? Well, they're fabulous, both of them. What made you choose elephants? So the left one is a god in India. He's a Ganesh uh, Devda. Mm -hmm. He's the destructor of... Uh, 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 anything what comes on the way, obstacles. And uh, he's a very popular DT in India. So this is an abstract uh, avatar of him. <laughs> right. And what's, how do you spell that DT? G A mm -hmm. N mm -hmm. E S H Ganesh. Yes. M, M for mother or N for November? N for Nancy. Okay. Okay. And, and 
And um, what does that represent again? Could you could you explain it again? Obstacles. Yeah, he is the, obstacles. yeah, destroyer of obstacles. Right. So, like that. And the one yeah. on the right is a lot different. How how did you approach that? So this one, both of these are physical artworks. The one on the right is called uh, Valor. Um, I I think elephant is my spirit animal, and uh, I like mm -hmm. I like the way I like many things about it. The way how calm it is, the way how confident it is. The herd comes first mm -hmm. for it, and uh, he just he just bulldozes through any circumstances or he makes his own way and mm -hmm. uh, remembers every everything things like that so what i've done here is i have animated the background oh. uh, actually this this artwork also has a music with it it's not playing here right now but uh, you can hear the elephant roaring <laughs> Oh wow, that's fantastic! Oh, as a shame I can't hear it. Um, yeah, I love that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and this other one, what's that? Sorry. What, who's that on the left? On the left is a baby. It's just a baby girl. So mm -hmm. see. Uh, on the bottom right, you can see the name of the artwork. Can you see? No. What does it say? Yeah, uh, when you approach, when we approach any artwork, the name reflects mm -hmm. on the screen on the bottom uh, right. Oh, right. So is that kind of a digital thing? What can you read? It's a the title. Tell me the title. I can't, I can't see it. It's okay, too so, far away from me. Okay, okay. This one is baby girl. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. a, a portrait. It's just a portrait. I had picked it up from a magazine, but uh, it has a right. very deep story with it. So I wanted to give this to my school teacher, uh, Mr. Devendra Patel, his, his name was. Uh, he's no more. Mm -hmm. um, oh. And uh, yeah, he Devendra passed. Patel. Devendra Patel. Devendra Patel. D E V E N D R A Patel. Yes. That was just. Was he your art teacher? No, no. He 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 was. He was a mathematics teacher, but um, mm -hmm. he he played a very important uh, role in my school life. He gave me a lot of opportunities. So he used to be uh, in the organizing of events, uh, major events in the college. Then he was with the prefects and captains committee. So he was a lot of in a lot of administrative things. He didn't directly teach me, uh, just maybe in sixth standard or something. But uh, in overall extracurricular activities, uh, he also would be in the photography vocational. So, right. so yeah, I've learned so, photography from him. All right. Um, so he was your mentor. Yes. So the story of this piece is uh he he had a he has he had a baby dog girl and she was about this age. And uh, then unfortunately, this is many years back, about uh, seven, eight years back, uh, or maybe even longer. So he, he had a divorce then. And uh, I was feeling very emotional when painting this. So I, I thought this might comfort him and remind him of his daughter and things like that. So oh, that's lovely. So, yeah. that's cool. so and you're, the one next to that is different again. I mean, all of your paintings are very different. Yeah, you will, you will see a lot of uh, different very polar opposite drawing uh, and painting art formats here <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so this one so can you turn mm -hmm. on paper 
This is what? Watercolor or acrylic, I guess. Acrylic on paper. On paper. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so you don't have a particular style, uh, and by that, I mean that in a good way. Oh, you've got a self portrait as well. Um, so, so no, nobody can like put you in a a box. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. um, so on which the left. Is, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, because the style. There are many people on on clubhouse spaces and on Twitter spaces who say just mint one artwork and stick to your style have same kind of artworks in one collection but i i couldn't i couldn't just bear with that because i'm always experimental and my art is also evolving and i keep trying different things so in a way my whole collection will be a progress or a journey of my my art journey so people can see in what time what paintings i've created and how it has evolved if i drop a center down to a particular style in future so they can see the whole journey. <laughs> I love that. What's the one? Yeah, what's that one? The one next to you. Yeah. That. So this is called uh, this is called Bohemian Madhubani. So as you can see, uh, it's a Freddie Mercury, um, mm -hmm. and this famous image, and in the background, it is the Madhubani art. Madhubani art form is a famous traditional Indian art. Can you spell that for me? M for mango, A for apple, mm -hmm. E for mm -hmm. uh, deer, H for mm -hmm. horse, U for umbrella, B as in ball, A as in apple, N as in Nancy, I as in India. Mabubani, Mabubani, Bohemian uh, Mabubani. Yes, Bohemian Madhubani. So Love this it. also has a story. I, mm -hmm. I was in a boarding school in Panjgani. So even, mm -hmm. even Freddie Mercury has studied there <laughs> for two years. Freddie Mercury studied there. Yeah, so that, 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 that's a fame connection I have over, over there with him. <laughs> All of that. OK. Um, what's so, the name of the school then? Yeah, he was in St. Peter's. I was in Nuera High School, but in the same uh, village. In uh, it's called Panchgani. It's in Maharashtra. Right. Excellent. Okay. And so, then, so these are. Mm -hmm. Sorry, please go on. So the one next to that, your self portraits. <laughs> yeah. Are they all? Are they all different? Those four are the same. The same image. It's the oh, same image. Expression? Yeah. Same image. No, no. It's the same image with different colors in the background. Right. Okay, kind of Andy Warhol ish. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what on earth is going on in the right here? <laughs> Who's that guy? Yeah, this one. Uh huh. So this is called Tiger High. Uh, it's a psychedelic artwork. Uh, which I was experimenting with. And uh, this just sold out in the last week. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Many people like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fabulous. And so if somebody buys that piece of art, um, what do they, I mean, can they put it on the wall? Or, you know, what do they do with it when they bought it? So the physical artworks, I'll, which will come in the second in the in the second part of the exhibition, they can put it on the wall. <coughs> but uh, the ones which are digital, they can put them up on their digital wall. <laughs> or, All right. Uh, so they can they can project it. Can they project it onto a wall? No. Yes, uh, I have. I am putting in a high definition copy of this image in the unlock content. So if they want, they can print out the copy and put the copy on the wall of all the right. digital images. <coughs> right, so, but uh, then it won't move. 
Sorry. Uh, but then it won't it won't move if if they do that. Yeah, I don't. Can they project it? They can project so, it. Nowadays, you have digital frames as well, so they can yeah. display this on the digital frame. Right. Is that what most people do? Sorry. Is that what most most collectors do? They put it in a digital frame. Yeah, I believe so because with coming of NFTs, you need mm -hmm. a way to show off the NFT. So not Absolutely. only digital frames, but I've even seen people go take it much to a next level. So I've seen people mm -hmm. coming out with uh, digital T-shirts, displaying their art, digital lockets, digital bag or purse. Wow. Just to show off their art. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, so the next piece, um, what's that about? The one in between yeah. is, is called uh, Rishikesh mm -hmm. River Rafting. This is a physical piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is backed, this NFT is backed by physical artwork. So whoever purchases this NFT and for many others like this will be delivered the physical artwork along with it. That's fabulous. So what's the one I, on the right? So this one I had gone for river rafting, and then um, I have painted. It's a real. It was I photographed it, and then I have uh, painted it, and then animated yeah. it in a video. So Excellent. this this is a very immersive NFT because it comes with a sound effect as well. You can hear the river gushing. Wow, that's fabulous. Uh, this one is called uh, COVID Havoc. So this had done in 2020. So just a representation of how the uh, pandemic and the virus was taking over the world. <laughs> wow. You really are expressive. I mean, you can almost see your feelings in the painting. Oh, yes. Your emotions in the painting. Um, which makes it even more immersive uh, <sighs> because you just don't, you don't want to take your eyes off it. It's fabulous. Um, but I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough to do um, a nice feature for you. Um, if you like, uh, I can send you a copy. Are you going, are you exhibit, did you exhibit uh, at BK Hans NFT 99? Yes, I have exhibit there and I was also a moderator there for three days. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> that was some doing, wasn't it? That was, that was hell of a... So, so you also moderated, well, that's fantastic. Um, and uh, what else you can see? Yeah, so I'll, I'll give this to BK and he'll make it look nice. And he'll probably want to attach it to your... Uh, if you like it, um, maybe you could attach it to your NFT. Um, uh, and, but also you can use it to send as a press release to, you know, newspapers and magazines if you want to. Oh, okay. That would be very nice. And I, I, I haven't it. think about it before. <laughs> hmm? What? I didn't think about it before. So yes, it will be nice. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, and, and even send it to some galleries just as an introduction, um, if you like it. So also, just so that I get everything absolutely right, um, I think you can stop recording any time now. Um, uh, and would you like to see the other paintings? I'll just uh, brief, uh, rush over them. I won't go in details. Yes, yeah, sure. So yeah, these are the artworks. So this one. So one in the center is called uh, the Scream. So this is the second collection, which I have which has one fifty items in it, and there are mm -hmm. they are minimalistic uh, pixel artworks of everything famous. So uh, oh. it has crypto punks and uh, it has many other things in it. <laughs> It has so, what and many other things? Crypto Punk. It's a famous uh, pixel artwork which is in the NFT space. Right. Okay. 
This one is called Lust. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous. So now the abstract art begins. This is called a barley pride. Uh, the one on the top right, you can see those two, uh, those two people in a couple. They are playing. It's a. It is another Indian art form in the Western India. So I mixed right. that with my abstract work. Sorry, that's fabulous. This one is called Black Magic. It's just mm -hmm. an abstract work. I've created a video of making this. It's on YouTube. Oh, right. You can maybe send me a link to that. So if you yes. created a video of you making that, are you going to add that onto your NFT? The video? And it's there on YouTube, so anybody uh, can have it. It's not on the NFT. But if somebody requests um, that, I can, if the, if the uh, collector requests that, I will send it to them. I think that's a good idea because it adds provenance to your work. So when they sell it on, they'll, they'll also be able to sell on the, the, the video of you making it, which, which is your provenance, really. And I think that adds a lot of value to it. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of people do that. Just And, and of course, when you sell it on with, with that kind of provenance, and I think you get residual uh, uh, royalties from from people selling it on, you know. Um, yeah, that's I, a good I idea. Just, I'll try how to plug it in. Yeah, I, I think it's because because then it's almost a way of tracking it as well, isn't it? So that you do get you do make earnings from them selling your art onto other people. Which yes. is a great thing about NFTs, isn't it? Okay, yes. well, I've definitely, I've definitely got enough. Thank you so much for all your time and showing me your your fabulous work. Um, give me, give me a minute. Just give me a minute. This one is the painting behind me. Uh, uh, this one is Singularity, and these are some more mm -hmm. abstract works. Mm -hmm. So the pricing of the artwork is uh, very diverse. So there are one of ones, there are copies, multiple edition artworks. So everybody can have as per their requirement. Okay. As I was mentioning, he has videos, in it, uh, music in it. That's fabulous. I love it. What's that one on the right? What's it? Let's see. That, yeah, what's that? It's called Sun Ring. It's my first. It's my first three D art. First or second? These are my first and second three D arts. And it's called Sunbreak. Sun Ring. Can you spell it for me? Sun and S -U ring. R I N G. S U N R I N G. Uh -huh. Oh, Sun Ring. Oh, I love that. Where did you get that name from? <laughs> because that was the I wanted to put a sun in there and that other thing looked like a ring so I just called it sun ring and it's um, absolutely mesmerizing I love it and the tagline for it is uh, go create your own stars <laughs> that's brilliant the sun is particle party Article party. <laughs> this is distorted perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's These... a little kind of Escher esque. You know Escher, the German. Which one? Uh, the particle one. The uh, particle no, party? Again. No. Yeah, the one to the right of that. The one to the right of that. Yeah, what about it? It's, it's got 
got a feeling of Escher. Do you know Escher, a German artist? No, no. E S E S C H E R E S C H E R. And it's okay. he he does some fabulous stuff. And uh, yours looks like an updated version of that. It's fabulous. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what was that other one you showed me to the right again? Uh, not the screen. It was just a black and white. The screen. It's just like a this one? pencil drawing. No, no, not that one. Much further ah, along. Okay, okay, yes. So that one, yeah. These are my takes on uh, Picasso. So on the left Definitely. is Picasso, right? Mm-hmm. My version of I was going to say that I love that it, it does. It's very Picasso. It's like you're updating traditional art. You're making it more modern. And does that say <laughs> SpaceX? Yeah, on the SpaceX. right is Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. On the right is Elon Musk in Picasso style. I love that. Does he know about it? <laughs> I have tagged him on Twitter. I hope he gets to see it. <laughs> I love that. That's fabulous. Oh, I sh I'm, I'll definitely put that in the piece. Um, so, so thank you so much. I shall send you, um, I have your email, do I? Yes. Okay, so I'll send you the, the um, text. Um, if if you don't mind, um, if if you want to change something on it, would you let me know? Because, um, you know, I don't want to. I, I like the way I write. <laughs> so, yeah, sure. Um, sure, 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 sure. Um, you won't have uh, any. You can just write whatever you want. All right, I'll send it to you, and I'll send it to. Um, BK as well, and he'll do it up in a kind of that NFT thing that he does. Well, look, thank you so much, Tanmay. I'm so glad we we um, connected, and sure. um, all the best would with you. Like you. My, would you like to see my website and open CA pages, or are you are you do you have any other appointments? Um, no, that's fine. You can uh, text me your website. Yeah, so I write blogs on the website. Mm -hmm. So you might you might like to read uh, some of these blogs. The two on the left are the featured one. I would definitely suggest you to read. Excellent. It's called time travel. Okay. And what what if you knew the future and how what could you change in the past and things like that. It's all sci-fi mm -hmm. and a lot of history also in there. A lot of technology. How the world will be looking at the current pace of things. How what what things you can expect in the future, and uh, there, there there are a lot of things from the past as well. How we evolved and things like that. And, okay, uh, I love this, that. Yes, um, this one. Uh, how to find meaning in life and existential uh, frustration remedy. So I was having some existential crisis, and uh, I have written a blog on that also as well. So it has okay, it has. Things related to it. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll have a read of that. Okay, if you can uh, just, you know, do the back channel thing and uh, with, with your website on it, and I'll go and have a look at it. Sure, sure. If there can. are videos also there. There are links to my uh, OpenSea accounts with it. There are my social media links. Everything is there on the website. All right. That's brilliant. Okay. Thank you, Tanmay. I appreciate it. Um, um, and if you would send me a copy of this recording, uh, uh, that would be great, just so that I get everything accurate and don't make any mistakes. Sure, I will stop the recording in three, two, one.